In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn on or off power saving mode on your Casio G-Shock Master of G Mudman. This is GW9500 by Casio. Just like other Casio watches, at a glance you can tell whether or not you have power saving turned on. You will see the little PS indicator on the watch face. What power saving is going to do is if the watch hasn't been used in a while, it hasn't sensed any light, it'll basically turn off some of the functions to keep your uh, battery charge. So the solar power watch, as long as you're wearing it on a regular basis, I tend to leave power saving off. But again, if you want to turn it on, we're going to be looking at that. From our main timekeeping mode, we're going to start by pressing and holding the top left button, which is our adjust button. You're going to hold it down for a couple of seconds. It's going to blink and it says hold to set. After a couple of seconds, it will take you into your settings mode. You'll know you're in your settings mode because you sh should see set blinking down here at the bottom, and then you should see your city code cycling through up top. City code is the very first thing you can change in your settings. Every time you press the mode button, it will take you to a different setting that you can adjust. We're going to press the mode button 11 times. Each time we press it, it's going to take us to a different setting. So there's my month, my date, my button tones, my light. You're eventually going to get to a screen that looks like this. You should see power saving cycling through up top. This is in this, this is the setting for power saving. Mine is on. We knew that already because of the PS. I can use the altimeter button, which is the bottom right button, to toggle it either off. You'll notice the PS is gone or on. Set it the way you want. Once you have it set accordingly, you're going to press the adjust button two times. First time you press it, it's going to take you to your latitude longitude settings. We don't want to do anything there. We just want to press it one more time. It'll save our changes, take us out of our setting mode, put us back in our timekeeping mode, and we've successfully adjusted the power saving on our Casio G-Shock GW9500. Hope the video helped.